Hey there, it's the Covert Crow. Today I have on a pair of gorgeous Oakley Holbrooks polarized lenses. Fabulous for most occasions. But what we're really here to talk about today is the Glycine Airman World Timer GMT. As you can see, I'll zoom in there for you. That is the model number GL0055. It's an automatic wristwatch and GMT World Timer that runs on the GL293 automatic movement. Um, what I'm going to cover off for you today is two things. One, I'm going to talk about the dual crown functionality and I'm also going to talk about how we can quickly set the three, yes count them, three time zone monitoring capabilities that this watch has. Absolutely fabulous. Before we get into it, a wow moment. What's on wrist? Today we have on the Tudor Black Bay GMT. Absolutely awesome. Do you notice a theme here? <laughs> anyway, why don't we turn that camera around and get a bird's eye view. Okay, ladies and gents, the Glycine Airman World Timer GMT. Functionality of the dual crown positions here, 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock. First with the 3 o'clock position, basically if we unscrew that, you will see that it pops out a little bit and it's already in the winding position so if you turn clockwise you can't hear it but it's a very smooth turn to get that main spring uh, coiled back up um, that's the first position if you pull it out slightly so if it's in the second position and you go counterclockwise you will see that the date is manipulated and very smooth goes up in chronological order and if you go in the clockwise position you will notice that the jump hour which is very convenient for a quick set moves each hour ahead and if you pull all the way out into the third position you will notice that clockwise or counterclockwise will move forward or back the, the time to set your local time um, which is great and of course pushing back in and screwing back down will then lock that back into place uh, with regards to the crown at the four o'clock position it is also screw down however if you unscrew it basically this is just the controls for our exterior 24-hour bezel and it is bi-directional very easy to move and operate and once you have it in its position and you'll find out in a few minutes that that is to assist with the third time zone monitoring um, then you can screw it back down into its locking position and it no longer moves Seen airman first thing you want to do is determine what is going to be your local time on the watch what is going to be your secondary GMT time and what is going to be your third time um, and it's all going to be subjective. It's going to be based on each person's needs and whatnot. So uh, for me, um, local time will be the East Coast time of New York, which now is 1242. Um, the secondary time zone that I use the most being out west in the California or Vancouver, British Columbia area, which currently is 942 as it's three hours behind. And then the third time for me uh, would be the UK or GMT time which is five hours ahead and as you can see I've adjusted my world clock on the iPhone to show you those three particular time zones London plus five hours at 5.42 p.m. New York at regular time local time 12.42 p.m. and LA out in California at 9.43 a.m. so now we'll get into the functionality of how to set the GMT uh, glycine airman now before I set the time you should note my local time will follow the 12 hour normal clock my California or West Coast time or Pacific time will follow the inside 24 hour bezel or correction dial and then my UK or GMT time We'll also be utilizing the GMT hand, however, we will be using the 24-hour exterior bezel to monitor that time. And that's how this uh, watch is very efficiently keeping three time zones tracked 
at the same time. And it should be noted that the GMT hand rotates once around for the 24-hour time period of a day, and whereas your normal local hour and minute hands rotate twice around for AM and PM. So let's get at her. So for starters, first thing we want to do is move all of the hands to midnight. So as you can see, I've moved all the hands to the midnight position. Then I will take the crown at the 3 o'clock position and I will move it to position 2. And what we want to do is because we are going to be setting the GMT that I most often use, which is the West Coast or Pacific Time Zone, it's three hours behind us. So we want, what we want to do first is set everything's at midnight or shortly thereafter right now. So we want to rotate clockwise and move the GMT hand to three hours behind what our local hour and minute hand is showing. So that being the case, if we're at midnight, we are going to be going to 2100 hours. So as you can see, I lock that in. The GMT hand is just on the 21 on the inner 24 hour dial. Now, if I pull the crown in the 3 o'clock position all the way out, it's now going to be in position 2, or correction, position 3, and I'm going to set the local time. So because that's midnight, I'm now going to rotate quite quickly all the way around. Bear with me here. Bear with me. Almost there. And current time is going to be 12.48. And we lock that in. So now as you can see I've set local time for the East Coast for New York to be 12.48. And as you can see down on the GMT hand it's now on the interior dial showing 948 so those two time zones are set and finally with regards to the second time zone you want to monitor other than our local time we unscrew the crown at the four o'clock position and as you can see now this bezel is free flowing and free moving bi-directional so what we want to do now is because we know that it's basically 1252 we want to locate because the UK time zone which is the one you don't necessarily use as often but you still have an importance of knowing that time if you know that it is five hours ahead basically it is 552 or 1752 so on the 24 hour bezel you turn the bezel until you get to almost the 18 and you screw that back in and because it's almost at 1 p.m. it's technically almost at 6 p.m. so the 18 is right there just before the marker on the inner 24 hour dial of 10 so you can see that local time is basically 1254 the inner dial 24 hour dial represents 954 as the GMT hand is almost at the 10 on the inner dial and then your exterior bezel is showing 1754 as it's almost at the 1800 hour so there you go you have all three time zones tracked so that's the glycine airman 
World Timer GMT, model number GL0055, which runs on the automatic GL293 movement. I hope that wasn't too difficult. Uh, like I said, once you play with it and you get to know it, um, it's easy as pie. Um, and as for the iPhone world clock, what do you need that for when you have this great piece of functionality? Awesome. Please like, comment, ask me any questions if you want further information. Subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell icon because there's going to be more content coming. This is the Covert Crow. Ciao for now.